special counsel Robert Mueller is finished with Donald Trump's short-lived national security adviser Michael Flynn. The man who was temporarily at the top of the nation's security is now waiting to be sentenced after lying to the FBI. Before going to prison, he took one right action. Flynn pled guilty to his federal crimes in 2017. Since then, he has been cooperating with the Mueller investigation into Russia's attack on the U.S. presidential election and Trump campaign's conspiracy with Moscow. Politico contacted almost all of the 81 individuals, entities, or their attorneys that the House Judiciary Committee asked to provide documents and other materials. One of them was Flynn and he provided several thousand pages of documents. The committee has been investigating POTUS's obstruction of justice among other acts. Flynn sent information via his company, Flynn Intel Group, and those materials were the same as he gave to the FBI and the House Intelligence and Senate Intelligence Committees. The Judiciary Committee had also requested materials from Flynn's son, Michael Flynn Jr., who worked for his father's company and on the Trump campaign. Thus far, the committee has not determined whether Flynn Jr.'s documents were included in those from his father. Monday was the deadline for these 81 people and entities to submit their materials. The committee is chaired by Representative Gerald, Jerry, Nadler, DNY. He said that he would be willing to make arrangements for people to submit them later. Nadler said that his committee and other House committees have had to make up for the two years when the Republicans were in the majority and failed to do their jobs. Trump has called the investigations, including Mueller's, witch hunts. The New York representative also requested documents from the Trump Organization and Trump's two elder sons, Donald Jr. and Eric. Thus far, their attorneys have not responded and the White House has blocked all requests for materials. According to Politico, the presidential campaign has responded, but there was no word whether it planned on complying. A campaign official said colon. We have communicated our response to the committee. The Judiciary Committee also requested materials from the parent company of the National Enquirer, AMI. The company intends to cooperate fully. These documents would include data about any monies paid to two women who said they had affairs with the leader of the free world at the time Melanie was giving birth to their son and afterward. Brad Pascale was the man who managed the computer data for Trump's 2016 presidential campaign and manages the 2020 Trump campaign. Pascale refused to answer Politico's questions regarding a request for supplemental materials. Spokesperson for the Trump campaign Kayleigh McEnany said colon. They will stop at nothing, including destroying the lives and reputations of many innocent Americans who only have sought to serve their country honorably, but who hold different political views than their own. This is abuse of power in the extreme and a reckless use of the solemn authority granted to Congress by the people of this nation. So far, the committee confirmed it had obtained over 8,000 pages from a minimum of eight participants. These included former campaign manager Steve Bannon and the president's friend Tom Barrack. Former communications manager Sean Spicer, former advisor Hope Hicks, former Chief of Staff Reince Priebus, and another former campaign manager Corey Lewandowski said no to Politico. Earlier, they said they would cooperate with the committee. Trump campaign data firm Cambridge Analytica's attorney said it had complied.